All right, so these are my thoughts on Ghost in the Shell. First, I want to address the whitewashing issue. I believe it's been whitewashed, but not because they casted Scarlett Johansson in the role. Uh, I believe a white woman, a Japanese, or Asian, uh, anyone of light complexion probably could have played the major. Um, but the way it's whitewashed, in my opinion, is she's Major Motoko Kosanagi. But Paramount changed her name to just straight The Major. Nobody in the entire movie calls her. Uh, Ko, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Motoko or Major Kosanagi. The Japanese name has been thrown away. That's that's whitewashing to me, not who plays the role. Now, Scarlett Johansson looks like a depressed Kosanagi. Oh my God. It looks like she just got freaking gut punched, stabbed, raped, and you name it. She's so depressing looking. That's not what made Ghost in the Shell so popular. We love Ghost in the Shell because the major Kosanagi kicks butt she's tough she's mean that's unbelievable that they cast somebody so pathetically weak looking in that role that in itself is enough for me not to go see the movie it's just poor poor casting okay now the next issue i have with this is uh, what was it it was on the tip of my mind sorry guys my I lose my mind sometimes because of the meds I'm on. Oh, the storyline. Okay. In the previews, they say, well, they didn't save you. They destroyed your life and stole it from you and forced you into this cyborg body. Eh, wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. The major is not a victim. Not once ever in the entire story do you see her as a victim. She's tough. She's mean. She kicks butt. She takes names. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't. She's not a victim. And second of all, in the story, they make it clear that she was on the verge of death as a child. And then they transported her mind into the cyborg body and she was brave and she fought to survive any way she could, being one of the first humans to ever become a cyborg and they changed the story so now it's gone from this heroine i'm gonna kick butt and save the world to this victimized cons uh, uh, with a conspiracy against her uh, that's not ghost in the shell you took the name you whitewashed it and you rewrote the story so i don't know my predictions for the opening days, they're going to be the diehard fans. They're going to show up. They're going to watch it. They're going to be disappointed. Word's going to get out. And it's going to be one of the biggest flops of Paramount's history. And it's probably even Scarlet's history. She shouldn't have took the role. She should have researched it. I mean, seriously. And then she wouldn't have took the role. She would have said, you guys are rewriting the story. The fans aren't going to like it. They're not. Because face it, when you redo something like Ghost in the Shell, an, icon I I an, an iconic anime, you don't rewrite the story because you're dependent upon the fan base. It'd be like rewriting The Matrix and redoing it and changing the storyline. Oh yeah, the fans are going to show up day one, but after you wreck up the storyline, word will get out and nobody else is going to show up. So, those are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. All right. Bye-bye.